The Bonneville Salt Flats, located 111 miles west of the Salt Lake City, are famous for their vast, flat expanse of salt crust. It's a popular location for speed racing events due to its unique terrain. Utah's famed Measured Mile is located approximately 7 miles beyond this marker, well in front of the mountains you see on the horizon. The elevation along the course is approximately 4,218 feet above sea level. The total length of the course that includes the measured mile varies from year to year, but for recent runs it has been laid out in a path 80 feet wide and approximately 10 miles long, with a black reference stripe down the middle. Due to the curvature of the earth, it is impossible to see from one end of the course to the other. Timing of World Land Speed Record Runs is under the jurisdiction of the United States Automobile Club. World Land Speed Record represent an electronically limed average of two runs over the measured. United States Automobile Club World Land Speed Record time represent an electronically limed average of two runs over the measured mile, within a one-hour time period, one run in each direction. The first world land speed record on the Bonneville Salt Flats was set on September 3, 1935, by Sir Malcolm Campbell. His speed was 301.13 miles per hour. Craig Breedlove holds the honor of being the first man to go faster than 400, 500, and 600 miles per hour. His record of 600.601 miles per hour, set on November 15, 1965, was finally broken on October 23, 1970, by Gary Gabelik. Gabelik's new record is 622.407 miles per hour. Both Gabelik's rocket engine Blue Flame and Breedlove's jet-powered Spirit of America were equipped with specially designed inflatable tires, pre-tested to speeds in excess of 800 miles per hour. The Bonneville Salt Flats formed when an ancient lake, Lake Bonneville, dried up thousands of years ago leaving behind a vast expanse of salt crust. The salt flats cover about 30,000 acres. While they are sizable, the Salar de Uni in Bolivia is considered the world's largest salt flat, spanning over 4,000 square miles. However, the salt flats aren't typically used for salt production because the salt layer is relatively thin, and the quality may not meet the standards required for industrial or table salt. Additionally, the Bonneville Salt Flats are recognized for their unique natural landscape and ecological significance, discouraging extensive commercial exploitation. Salt for commercial use is often extracted from other sources with more concentrated and economically viable deposits.